without burial. Death unto all eternity. The tomb of Queen Barbusha has been desecrated. Bring me the offenders, that I may lay upon them the curse of the pharaohs of Egypt. Two thousand plus science fiction adventures in the world of tomorrow. Two thousand plus presents the temples of the pharaohs. Sam. 
and it's hot, wet. Oh, the sky. The sky before we crashed, it was wrong. It made us come, it all wrong. Sebastian! Sebastian! I can't move. My arms, my legs. Sebastian! <laughs> Life after death, 
Ryosin, Ryosin, holy far. The first miracle will now be past, O Pharaoh. Listen, O Pharaoh, and our words will be understood by you and your sayas. Speak to us, O Pharaoh. And Kulifa asks that you tell us from whence your great sky bird comes. The gods have sent us, Kulifa. Before we speak again, strike the chains from our wrists that our thoughts may be of peace and understanding. So be it. Vizier, Tukan, strike the bond. Remove the bond from the wrists of the strangers. They have spoken in a strange tongue. That is not ours, nor yet the tongue of Babylonia and Assyria, and yet the words have meaning. Even as your words, O Pharaoh, have meaning for us. Why have you come within our gates, strangers? We know not why, O Pharaoh. The will of the gods rise strange and unpredictable. Our course was charted without our knowledge. The great skybird that brought us here lies upon the sands of Giza, tired from the journey. We must return at once to care for it. Let food and water be brought to the sky bird that it may be refreshed. Prepare baths of oil and precious spices and fresh shifts of linen for the strangers. I, Kolifa, Pharaoh of all Egypt, bid you welcome to the land of the Nile and invite you to rest before you return to the great bird. Tukan. Tukan awaits the royal command. Let the high priest prepare a feast for the sun god Ra and his messengers. Lead them to their chambers now, that they may bathe and rest. I, Kolifa, have spoken. Speak to me, Vizier. Or I'm a 
have that tongue torn from its roots and have thee rendered limb from limb. Speak! What plague has descended now upon the house of Pharaoh? The little prince, so small, so helpless. My son, no. The gods murdered, even as he lay in his golden cradle. Some madman intent on evil snatched him from his linen sheets. The little prince has been abducted. <laughs> Listen, another voice. A child. Silence the child quickly, lest the 
Lucan is my trusted friend, my advisor. Then let him prove it by drinking the wine. Uh, you see, he dare not, Kulipar, for he knows that the wine is poison. Drink the wine, Tukan, my noble friend. Prove your innocence. Drink. No. No, I dare not. You know the penalty for treason. Drink from that goblet, Vizier. My friend, my noble counselor. No, no, I cannot. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. I must uh, Take him away. Remove him from my sight. And when he is dead, let no stone mark the place where his worthless soul is buried. Great heavens, yes. Sebastian, I'm flawed. How did you do it? Do what? Spot that, that vizier as the poison. How did you know there was poison in the goblet? I saw the vizier put something in it. Yes, but how did you know it was poison? Uh, I'm an archaeologist, Wilson, a student of history. Don't you see? I knew there was a pharaoh called Colifar. I knew an attempt was made to poison him, and the attempt failed. So I kept my eyes open and spotted the vizier. I read all about it in a book. A book that won't be published until 5,000 years from now. sons of Osiris, who have rendered us much service with your feats of magic. These jewels and gold are but a small token of our gratitude. We must leave, Corifar. It is written in the stars. The gods grow impatient for our return. Already the wheels that turn our spaceship are impatient for flight. The bird is eager to rise. We find your great bird strange and exciting. What is the picture painted in bold colors upon the side? It is a symbol, Pharaoh. It is called the Sphinx. Sphinx? Sphinx? But that is an Egyptian word. I must examine the picture more closely. Strange. Most strange. That bird comes to the Garden of the Gods and rests upon the sands of Giza. And yet, look upon the picture you call the Sphinx. Crouching lion, but the head. The head, my lord, is your head. The features, the face. It's your face. It is an omen, an omen from the gods. I, Kolifa, decree that upon this very spot in Giza, which guards the river Nile, there shall be carved from this mountain a statue, complete in every detail, an exact copy of the picture upon the stranger's great bird. The head shall be my head, the eyes brooding and distant, and the body that of a crouching lion. The statue shall be called the Sphinx.